For generations of kids, comic books were as much a part of American culture as hot dogs and apple pie, until the past few years when they've fallen off the mainstream map. But comic books have a friend and a man we met along the way in Rapid City. If there were a comic book about comic books, Ray Brown would be a superhero. I don't even read comics, okay? But now, without any exaggeration, I've got 75,000 comics. An unsuspecting character, somehow cast into the role of comic book crusader. And the lady said, I have five comic books in a cedar chest that's been here for 40 years. And if you want them, you know, you can have them real reasonable. That's how it started, about 28 years ago. And he's been rescuing comic books ever since. Boxes here, boxes there. Here's the six million dollar man. Boxes of comics everywhere. There's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Enthusiastic about sharing his paper treasures. These were the old fashioned comic books. This is from 1919 and it's called Bringing Up Father. This comic was printed in 1975, so it's a reprint. Equally enthusiastic about his other treasures, like this contraption. Lily told me that Bugs was a tough little stinker. Hey, you mother wears cheap cologne. I resist that. At one time, he says there were five comic book stores in town. Now, only one. Because... As the stores were going out, they wanted to get rid of whatever they could, and they, uh, like the Godfather, they made me offers I couldn't refuse. <laughs> this is not his job. He does not have a store. He's just a collector, meticulously organized, and having fun doing it. I not only know how much it is, and if I have it, or if I might have six or eight or ten copies of it, but where they're located. Helping preserve a fading page of Americana. There's uh, Life with Archie. These books are from 1968. They're the old 12 cent books. Now you spend about $3 or $4 for a comic book and you hardly get any pages. These are Batman cards and stickers and bubble gum. Then there's one for Dick Tracy. But technology has emerged as a sort of comic book kryptonite. I think because the kids now can pull a comic up on their phone and they can read it that way if they want. Still, the books do have some monetary value, at least in theory. I'm trying to sell them, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm more interested in helping somebody continue or fill spots in their collections. He's 78 years old, energetic, and not afraid to use the Internet as a possible source of sales. Truth is, there's just not a lot of folks buying. There's about 48,000 that are on the computer. But even that is not working. Not at all. Which is not a problem, because they already have a home. They take up a lot of room. They don't eat anything, though. 75,000 comic books, safe from the garbage can, the recycling bin, and the paper shredder. Which is why, if there were a comic book about comic books, Ray Brown would be a superhero. If you've met someone cool along the way, please email or call us with your story ideas. Also, if you're interested in buying some of his comic books, we're going to put his contact information along with this story on our website, blackhillsfox.com. What a neat, neat man. And I love, they do take up a lot of room, but they don't need anything. So that's the good thing. He is, I could spend all day with him. Yeah, yeah. fascinating. Neat guy.